Hayden St. Pringle, Tom McDonald, Beyond Repair. So Tommy, tell me a little bit about uh, injuries, uh, because I, I'm asking all the boys, what do you think, they, maybe they, whatever, your worst injury, the most memorable, or like the, like the most catastrophic shit that has happened to you? I know there was one that is in my mind about you with your ear, uh, but you <laughs> tell whatever you figure is good. Injuries, fuck. Um, it's definitely been a few in my illustrious career as a pro wrestler. Illustrious. Um, <laughs> illustrious, yeah. But. Myself and Chris Knight had this hardcore match um, in Edmonton. It was sort of revered as being, it was the end of our feud, and it was, a, it, was a, it was a really big culmination of the feud that we've been having. It was sort of revered as one of the, you know, the top hardcore matches that had ever gone down in the city. We did some really crazy stuff. I pedigreed him off a stage through a table and all this crazy shit. Um, and then I think Massive, who was booking at the time, was, was trying to figure out, how, well, you know, how can, we, uh, how can we follow up to that hardcore match? So... I got booked in a junior heavyweight championship match with Bobby Sharp, and uh, we made that a hardcore match. And um, man, I remember Bobby was just scared shitless. Like I remember Sean came to me and he's like, "Look, man, like, you know, I know that you and Knight are comfortable with each other, and you guys can do all this crazy shit and throw each other off this and light that on fire and bleed all over over here, but Bobby's fucking scared right now, so." Please just like don't be a fucking maniac and just just <laughs> just be cool and just go famous to the last words. Yeah, yeah, famous last words, right? Don't, don't be, be a maniac. maniac. And all of a sudden I'm like gonna be a maniac. So um, so after Massive kind of warned me, oh hey Bobby's a little bit shook about this match. Um, go easy on him. I'm like, well I'm coming to the ring with a fucking golf club then. Like, you know, the first thing in my head is I'm going to bust that wound wide the fuck open. If he's already scared, like, I'm, I'm going to bring this to the next level. So, um, and I golfed as a kid. So I, I had all these golf clubs at the house. Me and my dad used to go golfing. So uh, I pulled out the fucking nine iron and, um, or, you know, and me and Chris are still really good friends. And I'm like, hey, man, Bobby's fucking scared about this match. So I'm going to, I'm going to show up in the ring with this fucking golf club and like, whatever, see what happens. So um, I showed up at the venue with my, my gear bag and stuff, and I had, I had my, the golf club, and um, I went to the ring with the golf club, and, and uh, Bobby came out first, so he was standing in the ring, and he saw me come out with the golf club, and I could see it in his eyes, he was like, <laughs> fuck, what the fuck is this guy doing right now? So uh, I slide in the ring and do the entrance and all the bullshit, and... Um, the first spot of the match, I, I'm looking at Bobby across the ring, I'm spinning this golf club around in my hand, looking at him, and uh, we get into it, and we fight over the golf club, fight over the golf club, run a couple spots with the golf club, back him into the corner like, um, like a cross check in hockey, and I push him up in the buckle, feed him a couple shots, boom, 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 I'm like, move on the golf club shot, sorry to kill the business. Fucking K5. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> so, uh, um, so I back up, I'm spinning the golf club, Bobby's in the buckle, I come running in with this thing, and as I swing it, Bobby moves out of the way, and I, and I smash it on the top turnbuckle. And when I hit it on the top turnbuckle, the head of the golf club broke off and shot back and hit me in the face. And I swung the golf club like I was swinging for home, you know, like I, yeah. I wasn't light about it at all. So when this thing connected with the turnbuckle and broke off and shot back at me, it must have come back with a couple hundred pounds of force. Like it was yeah. moving. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I just remember... Like a bullet ricochet. Yeah, like a bullet, man. So I'm standing there, just got hit in the head with this, the head of this golf club and all I can hear is... I can't hear anything. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. I look down at myself and I'm just fucking covered in blood. And um, I, I turned around to look, look around the ring, and, and Bernard, who was the referee at the time, who went on to be a wrestler, was standing right there, and he was looking at me, and he was just like, and I said, am I all right? And he like points at my ear, and I, I put my hand up and touched my ear, and it was all numb, and I could just feel like this whole bottom half of my ear was hanging down like by a thread. Um, and I turn over and look at Bobby, and Bobby's like, holy fuck. So, um, you know, he's not dumb either. So he puts his hands above his head and, and telegraphs it and comes in and gives me lots of time. I kick him in the balls, grab him by the hair, pull him in. I said, I'll be right back. Feed him a shot, roll out of the ring, run to the back. 
run into the backstage, fucking run into the bathroom, swing the door open and look at myself in the mirror and blood everywhere and my ears hanging on by a thread and I'm like, holy fuck. So I turn around and walk into the locker room and Massive and Chi Chi Cruz and, and Steve Rivers and uh, Gary Williams and all the boys are sitting there uh, shooting the shit before their matches and I said, Massive, I uh, just hit myself in the head with a golf club, like what should I do? And he looks up, he's tying his boots and he like looks up and looks at me and he goes, oh, it's just a flesh wound, get back out there. And I turned around and walked back to the ring and wrestled another 25 minutes with Bobby. Wow. So.